Hello and welcome to my project. Uh, this is a coding session of my program Bucket Manager, a useful Java FX application for managing XML files which are consist of a satellite channels information. So it is time to do quite big step in the process. Now previously I did show you my uh, completion oh, wrong wrong app um yeah it's uh, always happens to me so here you will see right now my application i need to start it and different kind of options as you can switch languages here without any problems and here i can i did uh, basically finish at this future with the help option and license agreement and so on and so on support so project okay so now it is important let me just uh, go to here and now it is time for me uh, to make a decision about main Inter interactions in my program. I decided mm, to use for the table view a tree table view class from JavaFX. Why? Mm, basically because I have here uh, the root and his next partitions. I mean next his uh, um, father and sons like uh, behavior and it is cool because then I can basically uh, make a program which all first of all show satellites and then the user want to see more he clicks on the view and then he sees the contents I basically think this is even better and so what I need to do now you saw previously mm, that my stuff actually I want to show you my controller main menu controller exactly so main menu controller mm, got got pretty 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 crowded um, I'm not sure that I am willing right now for this time being to refactor it mm, the, but I think it is over overdue the refactoring process let let me just quickly switch to the main goal of today's session. Mm, today I want to show following. So now I have to create a view for my uh, services, which is a list of satellite TV channels, which I have in my uh, access uh, when I need to work with all of the channels which I have in my list so idea spontaneous idea was like create a table and then put all of the needed stuff but then I thought about um, layouting and it was not fun working with only one table and then I decided why I need to do so. I will use border pane. Border pane. And border pane will be pretty, pretty, pretty well. And what I need to do, I just need to put here label. And then I will put here my um, three table. Three, three table view and then basically update my three table view uh, on the on the case three table view and then as I said earlier I will update it it will consist uh, three columns like channel name uh, like satellite name and then it will have 
uh, the corresponder transponder ID because I think uh, not all people looking for for the transponder. But my search, which I plan to implement, this will not happen at this coding session. But I plan to put here like a search search button with a with a text field search and then it will basically when user look for some special transponder id or for name it will just go through the whole list and then display this channel and then user can click like i don't know add to favorite or edit and I do not wish to add some additional features at the moment because I have will have too much work with the other stuff in my project and this is basically the user should be able to load services channel list edit one or more services channel channel or channels and then basically delete I'm not sure that I need to implement right now the mode delete so um, one fun factor I review my uh, specification documents which I have created for this project they are pretty 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 good they are describing the, the cases uh, of course it is not to the full extent which I always want to do it's not always possible to create a fully 100% requirements documents quite difficult and not realistic but it should be very strict and very exact with the exact description how user will work with my application so basically this is what I need to expect and for today I did not plan to implement this stuff no this stuff no but I can actually check this stuff border pane with a uh, three I always forget it. three um, <laughs> three, three table view, three table view. Sorry. And um, okay. And how I will proceed? Well, as I said earlier, I do not want to make my main menu control even more unreadable as it right now at the moment. Um, it need to be refactored and maybe one class or two class I don't know so and the way how I will proceed further I create new fxml document which will be um, fxml new fxml document this fxml document name will be like so what I'm creating, I'm creating, um, this is services, services, three, this is actually border pane, services list on, let me just, uh, okay, so it is services list, on a border pane and the expected controller will be like services list on border pane controller so maybe not so gladly I mean not so pretty name but it should work Now let's just uh, look it up. Services, I need to update my XML. 
Okay, it did create it, but at the wrong place. Yep. Okay, now let me just open again. Okay, I have my border pane on which I will draw all of my elements. First thing first, I write here a fix ID like this is a services services list border pane services list border pane okay now it's saved and now it's interesting uh, what actual size it will be um let me just quickly make an uh, some sort of overview of, of the main form the main form mm, it needs to be loaded Let me just quickly check it. So main form is here. Okay, it's here. And size is 800. Preferable height 600. So basically, and I'm using here grid pane in this, in this, uh, in this uh, anchor pane. and I need to think about so the anchor pane itself where I put all of my ah okay so anchor pane is a so basically it will be like here mm -hmm. let me just say um, I will well, I, I want to have half part of the window for my services and another part the rest part of the window for my channels this is basically pretty obvious now what I should do I uh, the height should be the same as of the of the window or wait a second, uh, main window, main form. The main form height is 600. Then I have this part. Basically, this take 26. So I will check it 600 minus 26. So 500, 574 it is a height for my form. So my form will have this 400 and the height of 574 because 26 is already I have some content there. So height. Let's just try it out, how it will look. Um, now, let me just think... Uh, okay, so now I, I found my stuff. Layout. So, this is a 400. Preferable height. 574 and this is what I actually having here so now to the to the main part at the top at the top I need to put a label which will clearly say it is it will have ID like LBL name of services it's basically title, LBL title of services. 
maybe it's too long, but I like it. And I will put here services list. And I make it even uh, bigger, maybe like and no 20, 18 by, and make it bold, underlined, services list. So in this list, I need to put following. In the center of this list, I need to put a tree table view tree table view tree table view need to have um, three columns first co column channel name I hope my spelling is right sometimes I do mistake satellite satellite I hope Sometimes I need to check my spelling, uh, resources, satellite, this is my channel, let's just go back, put it here, then I think it is channel name, it is okay. Channel name, satellite, let's just check it, set, ah, okay, actually I need to put, um, yeah, satellites, uh, but I have only represent one satellite for only one channel, and the next three table, column it will be like uh, it will be like transponder ID now I need to put here stuff like this transponder ID Basically, okay, let's hope it, it works. So, to be able, uh, alright, so now I have it in my services list. And now what I need to do, yeah, with layouting it's always the same stuff. Uh, I don't think about so much. So now I need to go to the to the FXML manually because this is one stuff which actually Sceneville is doing not so well. And what I mean by that, like here, for example, open with FXML editor, and here I have um, I need to use some predefined value. And let me just quickly go to the project. I think it was here. Yeah, it, it, it tries to open FXML. No, I don't need it. Okay, open with FXML editor. And I know, I know, I need to write my test, but I, I don't write code actually I'm just putting stuff and the code will happen later so no problem with the let me just find the place uh, yeah label Yeah, I need to put I need to put the label. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. 
Yeah, placeholder. Uh, placeholder. Oh. Placeholder is here. Where is where I'm closing the placeholder? Yeah, placeholder. So I need to put like a, a, a placeholder here, and then I need to put like I don't know label label effects id um, dummy label and then put here text like nothing and this should be enough to uh, just not to show this uh, strange stuff now let me just open with uh, hope it works with scene builder some sort of a uh, hack and now it does not show me uh, that the tables are not pre predefined. So, okay. All right. So now I need to write actually my test. And as a test, uh, how it will go? Well, I have my um, where it is, where it is, where it is. Um, boom, boom. My tests. My my tests are here okay and help main menu test now I don't want to make to mix the stuff because it does not belong there I will just write here like um, services um, view test and the class uh, will be of course J unit J unit test case Jnit5, uh, the name putting here, and basically, basically, what I need to do, I need to copy some stuff from my test which I use here. So let's just do that, and you see, yeah, basically it should be private, but doesn't matter for this test. Uh, so I can reuse this code overwrite. Now I can create it. Uh, extend application test. Sure, right. The stuff coming from the test fix. Now let me just. I think I can actually write the test. Yeah. Simple like that. It took some time to, to understand how, how test fix works, but it always takes time when you use a new framework. Nothing nothing is old, I will say. Oh. Alright, so now let me just quickly think about how I want to test the, the stuff. And what I'm actually testing. So I am testing test if services services form is shown. And I need I don't need to click anything. I just want to to be sure that it is actually visible and oops uh, I need to call open with a Stina builder and I need to call code and I need to put it on my test like here. And basically, test fix will make sure that all things needed happens. I don't even want to go into the depth to, to understand how it works with test fix. 
but I know that this should work and how it will work and um, basically what I need to do it's pretty interesting does it will, will it work or not I need to go to the fxml of my main form open with scene builder and here when the form is loaded um, here actually I need to find I hope it works that way because file new from template import no actually I need I'm looking for include um, and what I want to include I want to include this service list on border pane and of course I have you see I have the problem mm, the problem uh, is actually in so I need to put it like let me just think you think of it so let me just save it all right so so you think um yeah in in order to be able to work it out come on don't lay me down all right, so basically, I using grid pane, and when I using grid pane, actually need to be able maybe maybe okay. Now grid pane, I need to be able to add row below, and let me think twice about what I need to do so I have actually two rows in my application and two columns so I think I need to split this row into columns later or put all stuff because um what happens when I put here at the day column after yeah it makes even worse okay so I can all actually work with a column or with a rows and here I, I need to include edit and include fxml services and I'm willing to no information to display. I'm kind kind of puzzled why it does not send to back, send to send to back. Wait a second, how it loads? No no no. Mm. bring to front and how it how ah, okay so it takes it takes all of the screen okay I'm kind of puzzled uh, I don't wish to import no I want to make it some sort of a separation but it should it should work out eventually so so I see this ugliness it it can only mean uh, that that it is not select parent sure why not
Yeah, I'm kind of mm, disappointed right now. Uh, oh yeah. And uh, let me just quickly go out. Quick. Don't save. Mm. I want to manipulate the position. It should be, it should be like at, at this at, at at the one. Why can I? So basically, it overlays on edit, modify. Add the day column. Yeah, but grid pane at the day at the day row arrange wrap in strange Basically, I want to include in this line. Let me just quickly delete it from here. So I have two lines. And here I want to include my file in the in the second line. File include fxml services. And it, it it makes it even grid pane edit included file wrap in edit included file. So how it should be it behave itself? Basically, it should be defined through the layout properties. I'm not sure. Kind of puzzled at the moment. Um, so if I include include the stuff. Um, yeah, if if I import. If I do import, uh, that means it make even bigger FXML, and I don't like it. Shouldn't be so difficult. Let me just do here some fading, like I don't know 50, and uh, look up uh, the stuff which will happen later. Ah, okay. Yes, I got it. So now I don't. Uh, how I can delete this this line? Uh, I need to. Yes, I think I. I think I. Grid pane added there. No, I want to edit. Delete. Okay. Okay. So now it should be better. And now when I open the preview, haha. <laughs> okay. So now it will it it show me better view. But and menu and. And here I have clear separation. So here I have my here I have my stuff. And basically I'm not sure how I will add my tap top pane. But it good for the start for the beginning. So as I said previously earlier, 
I'm not a UI uh, specialist at all. I'm my main um, specialization is in backend uh, development. So <laughs> please forgive me for my bad taste of design. Um, let me just okay. So n now I can uh, uh, slowly understand how to do the stuff. And here I need to be to, to make sure that I can so basically I need to write here like 100 or maybe like 20 first of all 20 and make it here for example um, what I don't wish to have that um, max with the max with will be like five seven five seven Five, five, seven, four. The height can be maxim at maximum, and and it should work. All right. So now, um, I'm not sure what hap what's happening. So, preferable width is eight hundred. And here I have my 400, should be basically, it should basically be in half, actually. I'm kind of puzzled. Um, so... Ah, okay. Max with use computer size. Cool. And, and then I need to specify the height. Actually, use computer size. Use computer size. Okay, so now I need to specify here. Uh, Okay, why, why it behaves in such a way? Ah, okay, two hundred. Let me just quickly do this stuff. Two hundred twenty. So preferable will is two hundred twenty. Let me just write you like hundred. Yeah, some minor adjustment, I will say. Mm, let me just do like here. All right, so now, now. One so to always make the same, but okay. So, but the hot the whole makes ah, okay. So now I, I understand why it doesn't follow my values. I'm so dumb. Um, so preferable size of my. Uh, Three table view should be two hundred, but if if the user actually would increase the size of the window, let's just put it like here. Let's just don't think about about this too much, and hope it works the best. So. Now I need to put some IDs, like here, this column is uh, sat tv channel and name. 
and this is like a column call. All right, and here set for satellite like um, actually it should be like this for satellite call set name and here for the transporter call transponder id set transponder id and this should be sufficient for this time All right so yeah i have my uh, hopefully it will be shown in my let me just i'm still puzzled about about why it takes uh, so much size maybe when i spe uh, specify exactly the size which i want to uh, let me just go to the services open with scene builder and here to the border pane to the layout so i think i need to put minimum values because max values um, actually use computer size but minimum values minimum with such and this will be like this so I now I think got it because uh, in predefined state it shouldn't go f too far so let me just quickly look it up preview so basically the <laughs> it won't go let me just quickly quickly understand what just happens grid pane select edit included file The thing about uh, stretching stuff, why it stretched so large. And I hope it did open it. Yeah. And I just don't get it. Uh, max height, minimum predefined. I think it is all about layouting of my. Ah, okay. So border pane size are predefined now I have to to fight with my yeah and this should be like 200 by 200 okay all other stuff the maximum values will be predefined by the state of which I have in my uh, table so now I think I just need to actually go out then update project you will ask why it's so important to work with layout I will say it just makes sense to think about and for example why it So what I what I actually hit when I click here preferable height So I have my anchor pane I need to to basically to edit my included fxml file 
and border pane properties not orientation in inherited <clears throat> make sense but what what does not make sense is when I work with my layout I don't see things like position bounds and parent that doesn't make any sense But I still still have no clue why bugs my mind by not orientation left to right left to right so three table view layout alignment basically it should be always uh, left center left Bugs my mind. Uh, why? Why? It, um, basically, I need to look manually uh, what my stuff is looks up. Um, okay. So, to make an affix include after the anchor pane. So, it does not, the anchor pane does not consist, does not consist my file. Let me just quickly delete it from here. I think uh, the best approach will be like to include my stuff into the anchor pane, even if it is in grid pane. Uh, select parent, wrap in, and let me just try it out. Maybe it will work. Uh, include fxml. So services list border pane Okay, and how it will look? Ugly, it looks ugly, ugly, ugly Let me just think of it. So I'm quite disappointed how it handles the stuff. Mm. It shows me that my service list. Let me just quickly load application. Maybe it is a problem with my understanding of of the standard build up. Mm. How I can load my application? It does not. So it goes to the to the max goes to the max max length 
Uh, but it should it should go to the max length. Let me just uh, do some interesting stuff. Uh, scene builder services list. Okay, so three table view. All size computer computer size computer size computer size computer size save um, here border pane 20 and then I want to make here like 20 ah, okay now here preferable bees minimum bees so height uh, let me just put here use computer size and I think um, I'm not sure I'm not sure so here I my representation is pretty obvious it is small basically I need to make sure that my size is yeah why I cannot do the resizable stuff uh, so resizable basically I need to not to use my anchor pane I mean when I use the anchor pane anchor pane just for example and anchor pane exactly And it is, I think it is resizable. No way. It's all, all stuff about resizability. Does my application can resize pretty well or not? Should be defined. But here, I don't think that I have big choice. So it says center left. Let me just put here at automatic. Maybe, maybe it will go away. Well, where it is? What just happened? Okay. Okay, so why it why it shows at the max? Let me use uh, default values. Fxml mm. edit edit included file. Yep, here it is. So here. I want to put here like for 400 400 here is a maximum 5 for like 574 and here I need to use the same 400 574 because just for the sake of it, I want to have, um, I wish to have some sort of clarity of what I do. So border pane was the same, 400 for the width and 574 for the other stuff.
now it is defined and now I can try actually the main form open the main form and I hope it, is, it will show at the right size okay now I got it almost almost as I wished So what it what is all about? Inherit alignment properties. Uh, layout. I'm kind of puzzled. What? Why? It shows some sort of twenty six. High is twenty six. Yeah, sure. But now it basically looks like this. And I need to cut 20 in, 20 in height. Uh, let me just do that. And basically I need just to... Yeah, now, now it makes sense. Now let me just do following. Now some sort of a learning learning path um, basically automatic value should stay the same I mean use computer size use computer size at both at pre table and pane but preferable size let me just put here like 560 need to be a little bit smaller and my label ah, okay so my label it wasn't show up 500 500 and the border pane okay this is I think it should work Yet yeah, working with UI sometimes not fun. Uh, just yeah, and now we see that he spread. So basically, I need to the the height should be maximum. The height should be maximum at all time, and here. All right, and the same goes here. Computer size, size. Now let me just test it out. Yeah, I need to reload. This is a problem of UI in, in Java, I mean in Sany Builder, not in Java Fix itself. But I think it's rather annoyance to spend so much time just to yeah I see it's almost of an hour. Mm. Yeah basically basically right now it does not go to the max at the height but it should I don't I don't get it I actually don't get it why it should why it don't, don't resize and I do not want to make it programmatically I rather spend my time with the scene builder scene builder and let me just think of it Okay, now here it is. So the height. Uh, use computer size.
the question is by which variable it, it determines the height and alignment alignment okay alignment I want to be this part of the program always on the left and baseline baseline left the width is minimum 400 the same goes for the preferable width and the whole application here 400 400 here 400 400 and the maximum width depends on the depends on the computer size so I think it will be sufficient and let's just take a border pane padding I don't know from the left Think padding twenty. Let's just this is only one possible way. Check it through the verification. And I hate oh I hate I hate this. But what should you do? When you have such situation, it's not always. I mean, if you are a GUI designer, maybe you know some tricks to deal with it. Uh, okay, now, now it's not cool. Now it's not cool. So. Alignment. Uh, alignment itself of this stuff should be center left. Center left. And I'm actually thinking about not to use this alignment at all, but rather to use the alignment of the box orientation. Orientation. So when I inherit when I inherit this stuff, mm, let me just write here inherit. When I save it, and let's just uh, open once again main form. But it's still not in preferable state. I have actually no idea why why it behaves itself. Um, the grid pane height is 600. So this is a preferable height. And what I actually do. I actually can put here in the in this application in the layout preferable height 600 minimum height 600 oh sorry it was wrong uh, wrong stuff border pane maximum um, pref max height Computer determined and preferable height 600. That's it. So now for the for this stuff. So the same goes for this uh, mean height uh, mean height. If you just write it like this 340 all right now because it should be a little bit smaller review 
Okay, now it it have. Okay, so now basically I think if I want to to later implement some besides that feature through the code, mm, it's not so cool actually because I need then to to invoke resizing from the main controller. So basically not so cool at all. Because I need to get the size of the maximized window and then put it to the... Yeah, it's not so cool. Maybe I should limit the, uh, the, the weight. If, if I momentarily make the height of 800 it shouldn't it shouldn't be wait a second max uh, max height is 800 okay now I need to reload it Okay, now I need to use computer size. So basically playing with the UI it's not always fun. It's sometimes pretty hard work uh, to, to get it right like you wish. And I wish more from my, from my UI. Mm, actually I need to put here like 100. And here like so and now I need to look it up here okay so basically I need to push myself to the limit with this stuff um, I'm not sure 200 Okay, so basically I'm just using random numbers without any calculation. And I hope it works as I expect. Okay, now I understand. Not so cool at all. But it works. It works now. I need to make it here stuff a little bit more and make it like I don't know from the down like 50 50 when I need to put some button the label should be at the center and yeah, all the stuff I do not wish to to tap in, but when I have my preview like this, I am pretty happy. Mm. Okay, so here this is a limitation of my app mm. because I hit here the height. Uh, sorry, I need to 600 height of 600 minimum height, uh, and here will be the same. I inherit, inherit. Uh, don't like it. Uh, okay, maximum height. Okay, so it doesn't like it. Um, 
I hope it's doing the right stuff right now. And I don't wish I uh, want to make here some choice. So now I'm finally starting to, to make some progress. Oh my god. Um here I will put the same amount of of stuff. Yeah, and my stand builder do, does not represent it, uh, I think, in the right way. Or I am doing the wrong stuff with my calculation. But here you see, uh, maybe I should use less, like on a note 20. Okay, now it looks even better, and you see it 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 has it, it has some stuff. So now, uh, now I am actually start to understand the stuff. So here and here, max height, uh, max width. And I actually need to look up my border pane. Use computerized stuff. Okay, now let me just quickly look it up and Yeah, because it was all about how far it should stretch. I need to know the rules of stretching here. So basically I will stay by the values which I have predefined, predefined here. This 400, height 600. And things here. Maybe better is like 15 and this should be sufficient and yeah when I when I call from my application like main form main form not sure why it behaves in such a way uh, it's kind of puzzling for me at the moment but when I think about why it did not stretch it should stretch to the down so I have preferable size height, height uh, what it is yeah I'm sorry that it takes so much time but it is the way how I develop stuff so minimum height let me just use computer size minimum with 800 minimum height is 600 this should do it and it looks like this when it is not maximized and it looks like this when it's maximized And what about my other stuff? And here, basically, it should it should have the same height, 600, 600, 600. Let me just just try it out. Counterintuitive, I will say basically. Yeah, and it is not stretching so far. What happens when I only use computer size stuff?
Okay, people, I think I did figure it out. It's some sort of counter enter. So it's not a so best solution, but this is what I got. And let me just quickly do this like like this. So basically, basically I have here thousand for for preferable viz, and here in my application I done it like this. Now it takes all of my screen. And it looks like this, it looks like this, and it goes like this. And basically I need to make sure uh, that my actually height is computer sized. And the width is 400 only. And when my application is executed it looks like this and why it looks like this because of the limitations which I have here so here uh, the preferable height will be I don't know like eight, uh, 800 and um, yeah this was the case I think I think Let me just quickly look it up. Preferable height here. Preferable height is 800. Minimum height 800. And I don't want to touch max with mass, uh, max height. And all other stuff here, minimum height, alignment, let's just do it all in center. Let's just look it up. And it looks like this. Basically, it follows right now. Yeah, you, I can play it. I can play it uh, as long as I wish, but it's not the case. Mm. So it's still it's still some sort of a challenge, and basically here it here it looks like in my test. And it follows the viz, but it doesn't follow the height. When I maximize it, here I have maximum. And basically, it should follow the, the height. And why it doesn't follow the height? Because I have here limitation like 800. But maximum height is determined here. Let me just look it up here. Okay, doesn't doesn't so matter uh, in the conclusion. Um, here I have my height calculated by minimum height by computer size. And preferable height calculated by the computer size. In such way, this gives me an opportunity to make it through this property, make it work. And I hope it does now. Okay, so so if it maximizes, it doesn't follow the rules. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Like made a second nine hundred.
and all the properties of the grid pane anchor pane okay it does not matter right now but preferable height minimum height minimum width let me just determine by computer preferable height of the grid pane should be 800 okay now it should look better still have here some white spaces I'm not sure why it is um, when I try use computer size maybe it is better so actual, actual height is determined here and all of the stuff is d determined by the grid pane computer size properties I have my viz 800 all of the stuff which will be I want to I don't want to touch it I only touch my minimum viz and and here I determined my height here uh, I don't want to touch anything because here through this application I determined my viz so I know basically here I need to make it like like this height uh, basically like this use computer size and this should be the same case and all of the stuff will be determined by the application itself so it still needs some adjustment I'm not sure why it's things like this but who cares currently currently I have spent enough time with playing with this maybe when I unclick this and it will show it itself better No, but I need preferable with let me just quickly test some stuff so here is fully automatic and grid itself is height is too automatic but I specify the height in the other in the included FXML maybe it is the way how it should actually work so preferable size here 800 and padding not, not, not sure 20 Now let's just check it how it will look. I think I will just so I see it is almost at one hour. <laughs> wow. Um and I'm still bubbling through. I think it is have something to do with the alignment. Uh, let me just put here some test 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 button uh, in the grid button. Let's for the sake of the test. Okay, and what happens when I? Insert no. 
modify let me just quickly container insert the problem is I want to insert some some additional row and it doesn't allow me to do that strange maybe when I insert containers grid pane at the row below and put here like this just for the sake of the test so I think it is has something to do with the alignment um, alignment So it has something to do with the alignment. Um, and H grow always, V grow inherit, v vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, uh, in center. Basically, it should be in center. And the same the same should go for the all other stuff so for my for my fxml my fxml alignment i don't even show that i can somehow yeah somehow uh, influence this stuff let me just quickly do this stuff so basically now it's on the automatic and here so maybe I, sh maybe I should take care of it programmatically or maybe it is the case where I need to work this out programmatically but anyway um, so I want to have here preferable with 400 preferable with 400 and all of the stuff need to be determined three table view 400 400 uh, center left I'm actually thinking about not about this should be not in the center top top on the top left And maybe, maybe, yeah, I need to think about pro solving this issue programmatically uh, through the access of the main controller. The main controller should control the size of this feature. Okay, so basically, I'm done with this uh, kind of stuff. Let's hope it is, didn't broke any code uh, which I have in my case. And let's just uh, execute my test. 
I hope it does work pretty well. Cool. So now, now I have verification that my uh, that my stuff is loaded, and it looks. So it, it looks like this when you when you start the application. It's far from like an access. Uh, okay, why the menu is not accessible? Still not get it. Hello, hello, menu, menu, menu. And I broke my menu. Not cool. Yeah, I broke my menu. And this is kind of ugly stuff. Mm. But sure, I did expect to have uh, some problem with that. And I know, I know why I cannot access the menu because I need to, I need to fix my. Um, it did include the file. So here, at the at the border pane, I just put here like I don't know. Forty. And basically, here I just need to send to back. Bring forward I hope why the menu is not clickable let me just uh, yeah make it preferable six hundred and forty. Let's hope it works. Okay. Strange stuff. And when I file um file include XML and put it like here. It 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 gets blocked. <laughs> okay. This is actually not cool. Uh, let me just do some stuff. Send unwrap. Okay, unwrap and ha huh. at the row below and can I can I just move it right here? And I don't know. How much? Hello, six hundred forty. Six hundred. Okay, now I see the menu. The good news, I can see the menu. Hmm. Okay. 
So what the problem is with this uh, three table view? Um, that was not so cool. So now, now I have at least uh, it in my grid panel, and I need to put some stuff here. Basically, I think it. No, no, no. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to. Okay, so just. Uh, Thinking about maybe when I put here, here like this now. Okay, V gap, uh, H gap. Okay. okay. Yeah, but the problem is, uh, the problem is, yeah, the problem is, uh, what about my title? Where it is? Maybe like like this. Okay, nothing. Uh, and what about? Yeah, I think I can I can handle I can handle the three table view. So uh, I'm still puzzled about what just happened. Let me just. Preferable height, use computer sized. Okay. Uh, minimum height, I don't know, 40. 40. 100. Like 20, maybe. So now I got it. To my um, now, I got it to my. I, f I hope it is not generated in my FXML. Let me just quit and look my FXML because then it will be some sort of a problem. Mm, I see what. Mm, no, this is not what I w wish to do. And I hope I didn't. I did not make my stuff better. So I see I spending too much time with playing with my UI. And let me just think about so when I include the file, it brings some sort of unforeseen problems. Mm. Let me so grid pane is cool and I'm using it currently with my project.
uh, but when I include when I include import include fxml from other file like uh, this file it actually it actually breaks my menu because I'm using wrong alignment I'm using probably probably wrong alignment my alignment should be like position this element where it is border pane properties not orientation left to right focus traverse what is focus traverse what it means focus traversable I don't need it cursor effect left to right pick on bounds mouse okay button I'm not sure why it does not work for me but it is what it is so padding Painting, I don't think this is a problem with my painting now. Let's just try it out. So I cannot access my menu. Why? I cannot access my menu. Because I see I see the problem. I need to use another anchor pane. Mm -hmm. Now I got it. Mm, I put another anchor pane. My goodness, my goodness. So, as I said earlier, I'm not a UI guy. So, another anchor pane. The there row below. And put it like here. And code. Like, uh, Anchor pane for services, services XML, services list. All right, so now now I can actually include it. Uh, no, import include of XML. So so now I need to put it here and this showed clearly the problem and how I will deal with, with, with it uh, here I need actually find out the alignment left to right inherit it will hope I hope it will inherit the, the stuff and no it doesn't and okay so now why it is let me just uh, try some stuff I think I need to put all the values here at use computer size use computer size save it Hope for the best. 
so now okay now I need to reload open recent main form still I'm st I still have no clue I put it to the anchor pane and not orientation still strange uh, vertical alignment baseline ah now now it's cool a horizontal alignment inherit uh, and it will then look like this now let's just look at the preferable size I'm not sure this computer size computer size aha uh -huh, okay so now finally we're getting to some sort of uh, results and I was pretty uh, without a clue <laughs> yeah but it is stuff which you learn when you work with some new tools and hopefully when you're watching this you see that it is not always the process is not always mm, clear so now I have my menus all pretty and I have my stuff here and okay now now let's just uh, try some stuff here baseline doesn't matter center so preferable height uh, preferable height I will say how high, how high my grid Okay, now I have some complications. Two hundred by two hundred? No. Six hundred and forty. This is the preferable height. Okay, now here I can use this number. So and and here at this edit included file here I use the same value and mm, maximum height Inherit node orientation. So I hope now to see some better results. It does. Uh, it should be. It should control the height. So I need to look up what is with my. Horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Okay. Inherit. We grow. Inherit. Preferable height. Okay. Now let's just try it out. I think uh, the problem is now with my included FXML. So basically, here it is my node orientation visible and so on and so on. Layout. Use compo computer size parameters 
border pane use computer sized use computer size parameters and it should inherit the stuff Preview. Now we at at this point preferable size so this will stay the same here six hundred. Now it should be always at the uh, alignment center. I want to put position in the center. 640 is the maximum. What about this grid? 600. So grid pane with 800 640 is preferable height and maximum height let me just put it 640 hmm strange okay basically now I am get, getting some results and why I need to put the height here why it, sh it should be determined by the height of here so this is only one uh, anchor pane Vertical uh, Okay, preferable this And it should Okay, now I have Preferable height We grow inherit always So now the problem is with the included included file. Here preferable height six hundred forty. This is all what I can change here. Preferable height mm, automatic. Yeah, automatic. I, w I don't want to make any further adjustment. And I think this should show some progress. But it would would not. Uh, yeah, it would not scale scale too much good. But I hope actually. With this kind of stuff, I understand more. I understand more. So, edge grow is a horizontal resizing, and all other stuff I am. But I now, when I start the application. Yeah, I'm almost at one hour. Now I have 
some sort of a progress. Uh, I'm still need to think about how to solve this resizing problem uh, because when it go when it goes like this, it should resize this element to the half of the screen. May may maybe. It is possible to, I don't know, give some percentage, I'm not sure if it's even possible. Let me just quickly check it. Resetting to default. I want it like in center. What is the percent height? Maybe uh, but this is still not cool. This is still not cool and I'm not sure why it does not behave in, in such a way. We grow always. I need to inherit. Horizontal key, it is always left. It should be left. Vertical alignment. At the center. Okay. And... Okay, and fill height. Uh, I need to fill the height. We grow always sometimes inherit. So now I'm inheriting the vertical grow and only things to, to do is indeed include this file. Maybe it will work, maybe not, I'm not sure. I'm so sorry that it takes too much time and I have better things to do. Um, but it needs to be pinpointed. pinpointed. So, alignment. Always left, center, uh, left, top left, baseline left. Oops. Uh, automatic, I mean here. Preferable height. Use computed size. Not orientation. Left to right. Left to right. Uh, visible. But I do not see any other. Any other stuff. Maybe it should be. Okay now. By the definition it. It works here. Uh, why it works? Because of 
allow the circle fitter size alignment okay snap to pixel so when I just call this formula it works here but when I work with my main formula it doesn't scale pretty so you see here for example it doesn't scale well because it is kind of a separated state and basically I need to use some listener on this element on this uh, formula service list we just uh, scale all, all of the stuff it's not it's a pain it's a pain and here when I just use some random values like this it would not scale it would not scale let's just do this for the test yeah just not just not scale and the stuff with the scaling probably should be done out of with the auto automatically uh, okay so now here it properties let's just try some things twenty okay um I just want to move H alignment left, V alignment, vertical alignment center, and horizontal key alignment is left, but margin like B should be like 20. Ah, oh, it works. So let me just quickly do it. Okay. And now I just need to try some things out. But it does not. Okay. So now I I'm I show for the fact that. that it won't scale and I need to scale it programmatically lesson learned finally I must conclude mm, this is kind of kind of interesting iteration so basically I need to put a listener Uh, let me just click and look up what just actually I got. So this is what it looks like when it started. Uh, let me just do some last adjust adjustment. Last uh, adjustment. I need to put in here like like I think it is this value I need to put uh, okay okay now now it is now it's cool so 
I need to write a listener for this element which just sets this, the size of this element. I need to inject my my controller from my for for of my service services list and after that through the controller of the services list I need to access it and change the size of the high height and put it like like here uh, basically here here uh, all automatically here is preferable with is 200 so this cell 0 1 this small cell is 200 and if I need to put uh, another element like uh, I just need to put here another anchor pane and it will go I need, I need basically to split this line in two, two columns I'm not sure that is possible but let's just left it uh, left it in this state and the next time I will basically will try to write to test the code when the size of this lines is resized this would be like next 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 goal now I want before I check it out I want to make sure that all of my tests running so once again I am not a UI specialist and it takes, it takes, it takes a lot of while to get used um, to it but let me say following stuff uh, basically I am looking for the POM XML run as test And all of my tests should pass. Yep. Yeah. So basically all of my tests are passing and nothing breaks, nothing breaks. Maybe I need to make some once one, 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 another adjustment to the last one. Actually this will be the last one. Here at my grid pane I will say preferable this for my application is 800 by 614 and this is actually the minimum uh, not the 800 but rather 614 this is my um, things which I want to so here uh, this. Okay, so grid pane should be like 800. This is preferable size and the minimum width. And height 650. Preferable height 650. Uh, 14, sorry. Um, here preferable height 640 prefer minimum height 640 
So now anchor pane, preferable height 640, minimum height 640, minimum width 200 and the same goes the same values goes to my border pane yeah, it was some sort of a fun so now border pane what what should it have uh, anchor pane 200 V's uh, minimum with 200 preferable with 200 maybe 300 400 so 400 is a Okay, 400, 400, 400, and okay, this should be that should be two, 400, and 400. So the size, the size. Okay, I was interrupted, and yeah, UI is uh, pre pretty flexible at some point. So I use following for my for um, my services list is a uh, 400 by 640 window for formula. And the same goes for for the the same goes for this um, anchor pane. And this means that this should be a little bit higher. 660 660 65 and maybe maybe some small adjustment okay so it should be like an, an I, I don't know maybe like yeah maybe 660 no okay 670 68 yep 668 yeah I can cal calculate it but for this reason I have my cine builder so now it is it looks like this mm. Maybe better when I use it like this. Okay. But it won't it won't it won't resize uh, anyhow. Because the size uh, of the window will change 
so this is predefined values and all all all, all of all the stuff need to be why I'm actually t tinkering with this kind of settings um, let me just quickly show you why um, I notice when I run my test like I told here let me just run it during the test uh, the window wasn't scale up pretty well but now I think it is some sort of a good way so basically I need to update only one value I need to update when the size of my main view did change I need to get hold of a control, controller of my another element and then change it back things like that but this will be done actually in the next part of session coding session and I am pretty satisfied with my tinkering and once again I am not UI specialist UI designer and I do my best to do the job quickly as possible but sometimes you need to tinker with the material and just get a general feeling how it uh, works but the main goal is just to pass all of the test and you see the test pretty running pretty well I just need to make sure that I can that, that I can get the height of my window and then update to the to the new height the window so yeah I'm finishing this session and saying thank you for the watching thank you bye bye